What do you think of Donald Trump? I love him. Absolutely love him. Why? Why? Because he didn't have to do what he's done. He's a billionaire. He was loved by everyone. Everyone loved him. The left loved him and the right loved him. He was the American dream. He was the American success story. But yet he put himself into a position where he's had two assassination attempts now, where he has to live the rest of his life hated by half of the country or by a lot of the people in the country, where he's tarnished as a racist, tarnished as all these... He didn't have to do any of that. He could have just carried on living his beautiful little life, playing his golf. But he put America first because he loves his country and he knows that it's been stolen and robbed. And he knows those in control, the same people who are in control of invading Iraq and invading Afghanistan, the same people who are in control of the Ukraine war, all, the, all of the death and all the war. Under Donald Trump's four, four years of leadership, no war. None. This wouldn't have happened in Palestine, with Palestine and Israel. It wouldn't have happened with Ukraine and Russia. It wouldn't have happened. But certain agendas controlling, which is what I talk about all in this, certain war machines, certain cabals that are controlling our governments want war. They want displacement. They need war. They want it for their own economies. So America gives six billion pounds over to Ukraine. What do Ukraine do with the six billion pounds? Give it back to America for weapons. <laughs> it just keeps the economy going. Yeah, it's just like laundering money. It's just laundering money. And, ch and, 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 and children as well, Ukraine. Ukraine has always been known. We look here and here. Ukraine, up until the war, all the media talked about Ukraine as being the most corrupt country in, in, the, in Europe and one of the most corrupt countries, you think, uh, eighth worst in the world, yeah? And child... Um, trafficking. Uh, child trafficking. So Ukraine is the top for that, top for that, and Nazis. So our media, the Guardian, all left-wing media, always just were hammering them. As soon as the war started, they're all fucking heroes. They're funding the... We're funding the Nazis. Look at it. We look here in this book with all the facts. Our government are funding neo-Nazis. Now they're not neo-Nazis. Now they're the good guys. They're just fucking changing and lying. For whatever agenda. Like we funded ISIS. We funded ISIS. When ISIS were fighting in Syria, we wanted ISIS to beat Assad. For our own geopolitical fucking worldview, that's what we wanted rid of Assad. Now, Putin, it wasn't about, at first it was about Crimea. Then, then listen to Zelensky, all of, us, all of a sudden it changes. It's about regime change in Russia. So you want rid of Putin. What happens when you get rid of Putin? Look what happened when you got rid of Gaddafi. Do you know there's 200 different ethnicities in Russia? Now, I went, I went to Russia. I spoke to, I went to a massive conference against Putin, but they are terrified of what happens when Putin goes. Even the people who are against him. They said, we're concerned. He's got control of Chechnya. He's got control of the country. What happens when he's gone? It turns to a fucking war zone like Libya, like all these other countries. Right. Like, like all of them. Like all of them. So no matter what, how, if he's a tyrant, why are you getting involved? Why is it, why have we gone against every agreement in surrounding Russia, basically? Why did we overthrow a democratically elected government in fucking Ukraine? Because they were pro-Putin. Well, they chose that for elections. And then you say, we fund a militia resistance against it. And then we say, we, we, we say we're fighting for democracy. So I just get so wound up that the 1%, which is all they give a shit about anyway, is farming us like animals and money and playing us all against each other. And every conflict. And I think Donald Trump is in that way. He's in the way, which is why they've tried to assassinate him. Anyone who looks at assassination attempt, they stood there. They stood the so They knew he was on the roof of a gun and they, st they, they stood Secret Service down not to shoot him. They, he, Donald Trump went like that and missed the bullet. Otherwise, he'd be dead. Then they've got total control again for decades, for decades. More war, more death. We get poorer, they get richer. So I think Donald Trump is... Uh, is our last hope to save Western civilization because our civilization is destroyed. We've lost identity. We're too weak to stand up for ourselves and people need fearless men. Like, as I said, Nigel Farage ain't going to shift no over and window. He, he's going to wait. Like Donald Trump's already said, the biggest deportation ever, ever come in American history is coming. You're going.